Hello gentlemen, today I'm going to break down a mini scheme for you out of the Atlanta Falcons playbook. So this is something that I posted on Twitter a couple weeks ago. I basically just posted some screenshots and setups to go with it, but I'm going to elaborate on it and expand a little bit and just talk about some of the formations in this playbook. So we're really going to be focusing on the bunch formations. So we have bunch, bunch offset, and then bunch wide nasty, but we just have good 11 personnel formations in this playbook to begin with. So we have like tight Y off. I love this formation, tight Y off week. They have cheat motion sprinkled in just like the Miami playbook. So this one doesn't have any cheat motion, but the tight Y off does. You have tight flex, which is a really good compression formation. And then you have normal Y off close, which is very similar to how it is in Miami as well. But real quick, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can join Noti Gang and you won't miss an upload. And then let me know in the comment section what you guys are struggling with in Madden 25. And I'll do my best to answer all of your comments or even make a video on them. And then if you have nothing to request, just type Noti Gang. That's going to really help me out in the algorithm. Okay, so let's get into it. The first play is going to be PA Cheat Switch Dig out of Gun Bunch Offset. And we do want our bunch to be on the wide side of the field. So the ball is on the left hash. We do want our bunch to be on the right and then vice versa. And for this setup, we are going to drag the ISO receiver, which is X. We're going to post the tight end. We're going to block the running back. And then we're going to corner route the slot receiver, which is RB, and then stem him all the way down. So you do Y, RB, LB, or L1 for custom stem. Left stick all the way down. And this is what your final play art should look like. So we have a built-in cheat motion here. And it's good to get some pre-snap information if they do not have baseline on. So if somebody follows across, like his man follows across, it's obviously man coverage most of the time. Online, you might see baseline. But it's very simple. You're, you're basically just reading high low between the post and the drag let's do it again and i'll show you a different way you can run this as well that's a similar concept but slightly different custom stem can separate versus man sometimes and overall just a very effective setup so if you want to change it up what you can do is in route your iso receiver and then you can corner route your tight end and then block your running back. And then we're going to stem up the slot receiver once with the D-pad. So Y, RB, LB, and then D-pad up once. And this is the final play art. So it's a similar concept. And against zone, this deep dig is very good. And this one's a little bit more true to name, or I guess true to the play name. having an actual dig on the field. One more time. High low between the in route. In this case, we can actually hit the cheat motion. Against a cover two, you'll have him because that deep half on the ISO side is going to be kind of squeezing because of the deep dig. So we do have this window against cover two. The next play is going to be wide trail out of gun bunch offset. And this play is good because of the angle post from the outside bunch receiver. And let's go ahead and show why against a cover three first, and then we'll go against random play. So the setup is going to be drag your ISO receiver, streak your slot receiver, and then your tight end, you can either put on a drag and create a mesh underneath, or you can corner route him. But if you do this, I recommend stemming him all the way down. So this is the setup. This is going to bomb cover three. If you get enough time, of course, try to run it again. There's a cover three bomb. So there's nothing holding the left side cornerback, but because Madden 25 is the way that it is, it's very easy to bomb. So cover two, like a Tampa two, probably the best way to take away this setup. But let's go ahead and run this against random. As for which one is better between the drag and the corner route from the tight end, I think they're both pretty good. I would say against like a cover two man, I actually prefer the mesh because I'll talk about that in the video that I'm making. 
But I like Mesh Concept versus Cover 2, man. So there's the drag again. And this is going to keep the user more shallow. Like, like, if you have two drags over the middle of the field, it's way more likely that the user is not going to go user the angle post. It's so like right here, this is a cover two. You have to check it down. Unless you get a lot of time in the pocket and you can hit the angle post late, but it's probably unlikely that you're going to have time to outrun the deep path to the sideline. Right here, you can just take the drag. So this setup is really good too. As far as using the corner route, I'd say if they're playing like a cover zero. This is going to be better because it's going to be away from the user. You have more potential for getting a big gain along the sideline. Now let's break down a couple of plays out of Gun Bunch Wide Nasty. And let's start with Cheat Wheel Post. I think this is a play that I've talked about before. But for this setup, we're going to drag the tight end which is that furthest inside guy on the bunch side and then we're going to out route the outside bunch receiver which turns into a speed out and then you want to stem him up once so y b you probably actually do it twice but i'm just gonna do it once lb and then left stick up once and this is going to honestly be a route that is just going to be throwable all the time so if they play off man coverage you can just throw this there's really no chance of a user picking this off. So why not take it? Then you have a simple high-low over the middle of the field between the post and the drag. And that's kind of how Bunch works this year, to be honest with you. Like, if somebody is has a drag over the middle of the field, please expect there to be a post coming right above it. Because that is pretty much how Bunch works this year. As for the cheat motion, he's good for just kind of getting guys off of your post. Like getting zones off of your post. In some cases, you can throw the cheat motion. Kind of just depends on how they're adjusting on defense. He also helps your drag too, because he's keeping things to the sideline. But the speed out is honestly very good. So like right here, I finally got taken away. Got a lucky animation there, gained a ton of yards just from a drag. So that's gonna be cheat wheel post. And then lastly, we have branch return. And for this setup, we're going to streak the tight end, which is A. Stem the corner route all the way down. Y, R, B, L, B, and then hold left stick down until he looks like this. And then for your running back, you can block him or you can put him on a, a flat or a wheel if you have access to that route. We'll just run it like this. And let's have a look. It's so like right there, I guess he matched to my stem corner. That kind of made me hold the ball just a little bit longer than I would have liked. Deep dig on the ISO side is going to separate versus man very frequently. But it's really about having this high-low between the return and the dig. Both are good versus man coverage. Both are good versus zone. Now you can optionally stem that dig. You can make him go even deeper. And that's just going to make it so zones just don't play him at all. That's up to you if you want to go that extra step. Well, he actually played that somehow. Run again. That's a dot. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. I'm sorry. Let's do it again. There's a the dig. Turn route, we had the stem corner and the dig as well. And this, I would say the streak from the tight end is typically not going to be thrown. He's really for clearing out. But notice how this flat pulls the zones off of the dig. So 
So this play just has really good spacing and it's gonna be good versus both zone and man coverage. Anyways, that's gonna be it for the breakdown. I just wanted to drop it on YouTube because I know not all of you follow me on Twitter, but I do post tips daily over there. So if you guys are missing some of my daily content, make sure to go follow me over on Twitter. I'm gonna post a link in the description as well as a comment section. But thanks for watching. Drop a like if this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.